Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out the digital single Sweet Nonfiction by Nizio. I actually kind of like, uh, I don't know, is it dyslexia that when I read the title for the first time, I read it as Sweet Notification? And then I had to look again. And I actually recorded the first intro saying, we're checking out Sweet Notification by Nizio. And then when they actually said nonfiction is when I realized that I read the title wrong. I don't know if it's something wrong with me, probably. But anyway, uh, we're checking this song out. I'm really, really intrigued because Nizio is def definitely falls under the umbrella of um, antidepressants when it comes to K-pop in terms of the kind of music that they produce. You know, I called twice that. I literally just checking out their killing voice and needs you. I called them that as well when I checked them out for the first time, I believe, or the second time. Really, really enjoyed them. I enjoyed their vibe. We checked out some of their uh, appearances and some of the, you know, uh, live performances, you know, in some of the last year, the year end awards and festivals where they featured. Uh, they have an awesome aura about them, very lovely very positive and, uh, you know, it j just lovely is, is what I would call them. Precious AF is what I would call them. So without further ado, let's get into Sweet Nonfiction by Nizu. Wait, was that an animation? Oh, it was the string on her, <laughs> on her hoodie. Sorry. I love how this feels like a Dior commercial in a way. This reminds me of like the golden Charlize Theron and they they had like all kinds of perfumes as well, which looked more so like, I, I guess if I had to guess off the top of my head, like the bottle looks like something from Nina Ricci or a Dior. Not, no, no, not Dior. Looks more like Nina Ricci or a Lancome. Lancome. Uh, yeah. I, I like designs of perfume bottles. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway. Is it weird that I might be into, like, and anyway, kind of like it, you know. Uh, that's how I choose my perfume, by the way. It, it, not based on the f scent, but if I actually like the bottle, 10 times out of 10, if I like the bottle, I actually like the scent. So, you know. Anyway. That was cool.
love this pre-chorus. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Whoa, this is beautiful. Let's take it back. I love the rapping. There's like this, the tiniest rap section that I wish was extended by at least 10 seconds. Uh, Cause it feels like it's barely five seconds, but it's so cool. It's so awesome. I love it. Um, I, I, I love how um this music video is it, it can it gives me vibes of like the general consensus of queen card by idol in terms of l loving yourself like the love story depicted in this video is not love between like two people but rather uh someone like she's idolizing the group she's almost like kind of like in a way the the fan kind of who is idolizing the group that made her life better and created the non-fiction life which is rough they literally say real life is rough is tough um and happiness isn't everything don't focus on like the the things that you cannot control uh, everything kind of like starts with you and if you love yourself everything is going to be okay so it's kind of like the group helped the fan in a way she almost like represents the fan that feels as an extension of the group that by her connection to the group she began to love herself and appreciate herself so it's almost kind of like a, a a thank you letter kind of thing in a way uh and not necessarily a love story between you know two people kind of like a romantic sense but uh that's at least what kind of like i'm getting uh because she's literally kind of like in a state of distress she's kind of like uh, clueless about what is going to happen next she's like with this pen she's about she she needs to write like a almost like a non-fiction story like she she's in a in a crossroads in a way and like she she touched that little chandelier and she became i think she becomes kind of like the character uh which is kind of like a fantasy meets reality that makes you feel better about yourself so the group is kind of like th this is kind of like almost like the, the connection between the group and the fans or even kind of like the group with themselves and whatnot kind of like a, a very loving relationship between people that make us better anyway let's look back and i i think never mind i thought i saw uh there are butterflies actually in the background and but which is the literal kind of like metaphor for transformation and whatnot so also pretty cool brownie points on that very subtle uh, inclusion of butterflies. Damn. Yeah, and she became like the card itself. Nice. And kind of like the likes and shit, honestly, is it, it's more so keep it a secret from me. Nice. Those shots are very, very like the the, the styling in this video was awesome. Damn. That was beautiful very very beautiful honestly I, I will take that whole her posting that post and getting a shit ton of likes as her accepting herself for who she is uh and getting that card which again kind of like reminded me a little bit of queen card um and there, there it's by no means kind of like a comparison but just kind of like the general gist of like the concept of queen card 
and, and being happy with yourself or having someone that makes you feel wanted with who you are and not necessarily uh, wanting to change to a completely different person that you cannot recognize. So I feel like this is just a really lovely song that uh, is just kind of like about having someone that loves you for who you are and makes you want to improve yourself for the better and not necessarily change yourself to become something that you're not for their sake. So it's a very pure and honest and lovely and kind of like a, a wholesome relationship is how I will take it. And a relationship kind of like not in a romantic sense, even just kind of like the representation of, you know, the member with the group is also kind of like representing the fans who feel more full of a life when they listen to their favorite group, but also the group itself, kind of like the relationship of like, let's look at Twice's discography and even like their latest music videos as far as like their friendship. This kind of like gives me those same uh, vibes in terms of like, uh, you make me appreciate uh, life in this rough world and whatnot. So. That's at least how I will take it if I made any sense. Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed this reaction. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Be well and safe wherever you are. And have a wonderful weekend ahead. See ya.